The 2017 Lutz Memorial Tournament begins with the following quarterfinal match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, he hails from San Antonio, Texas and weighed in at 185 pounds, Bryson Scott. Gentlemen, you are looking live at the Norfolk Masonic Temple in Norfolk, Virginia. It is time for the 10th annual VCW Lutz Memorial Cup. I am Blake Chadwick, joined by Wes Danger Rogers. We have eight matches tonight, including the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals of the Lutz Memorial Tournament, and a big-time tag team matchup where the VCW heavyweight champion, Billy Gunn, will make his first appearance as champion, teaming with Benjamin Big Money Banks to take on the team of the former champion, Brandon Scott, and a newcomer, former WWE star, Kevin Thorne. Yeah, Blake, you're right. And as you can see here, the crowd knows what's at stake. Uh, Lutz Cup. And his opponent, and he hails from Bad News VA. And weighing in at 260 pounds, he is the BCW United States Liberty Champion, the Platinum Icon, Phil Exactly what I was alluding to earlier, Blake. And uh, this whole tournament, really almost an endurance of the body as much as it is the mind. And if he's distracted, uh, early loss, oh, man, devastating. Both of these men have a bit of an advantage going at it first. They have the longest time to breathe. They have a little bit of a break until the semifinals. But in the quarterfinals, you certainly want to get through it as quickly as possible because, again, if you want to win this tournament, you have to win not one, not two, but three matches before the end of the night. Yeah, in a single night, that is a hard, hard order to fill and you are exactly correct. Yeah, you want to try to finish your opponent quick, but you don't want to leave yourself open for a mistake where he can finish you off just as quickly. Phil Brown, an 88-pound weight advantage here against Bryson Scott, and Mr. Studtacular is going to have to use his quickness and speed to stay one step ahead of the platinum icon. And I'll tell you what, you talk about physiques, Phil Brown has long had one of the best physiques in BCW, but Bryson Scott with his new look, certainly giving him a run for his money. Yeah, definitely not backing down from the sides. You saw him out there flexing. And you can flex all you want, not gonna help against a guy like Phil Brown. As Brown has Scott backed against the ropes, just taking a look at the brackets here for you fans watching on the VCW Network. Rob Barnes and Gino will hook it up one-on-one. -on -one. Gino, of course, the Commonwealth Heritage Champion, a late addition to this tournament. Ryan Davidson had to pull out due to personal reasons. Gino was stuck in, and you have to give it to him here. The man who won this tournament last year, what a way to end the Lutz Cup, winning number 9 and 10 while holding championship goal. Oh, man, the first back-to-back -back Lutz Cup champion. I think this place would blow the roof off, Blake. And we also know, as we alluded to, J.J. Blake and Ken Dixon will go at it. And in our final quarterfinal matchup, Big Sean Studd and Marcellus Prime. This has been building for many months here in Vanguard Championship Wrestling. Finally, they will hook it up inside the squared circle in the quarterfinals. And Blake, I hate to cut you off there, but it appears that uh, Mr. Stubb Sacco is having a bit of a trouble getting filled down to the mat. And again, that 88-pound weight advantage of the 
Platinum Icon working early on. As you see the standing switch here in Phil Brown, showing off some amateur ability there with that belly-to-back suplex. Dumps Bryce and Scott on the mat. And look at Scott, runs into Phil Brown and bounces off like a brick wall. I mean, he is fearless, but the height and weight advantage is going to play heavily into Brown's favor here in this match, you got to think. And look at the power and strength here. The press slam attempt. But just like that, Bryson Scott takes out the knee of the Platinum Icon. And if you go back west to a nightmare on Granby Street just about eight weeks ago, Chris Silvio taking out Phil Brown in that opening match, doing a lot of damage to that knee. Phil Brown might not have recovered 100% from that chop block he suffered in that matchup. Oh, absolutely not. And smart, smart competitor here taking the big man down, really just taking away all of his advantages. And now... Who would have thought Bryce has got in clear control of this match? He has five seconds to break, utilizing nearly all five of them. And Wes, you brought up a great point right there. Really trying to take away the size advantage of Phil Brown. Chop the tree down, if you will. And go to work there on the knee. As Mr. Studtacular. Looking to make a huge name for himself. He did briefly return to VCW back in the summer of 2016. A surprise participant in the 2016 Liberty Lottery. But here we are just about 20 months or so later in the best shape of his career, the biggest match of his career, because if he gets by Phil Brown, he will have a date with either Rob Barnes or Gino in those semifinals.